Hello, everyone. I'm Zeta Math. And I'm his husband, Tristan. Welcome to our third live solve video. Uh, so today we're going to solve a puzzle that I've been interested in for quite some time, but has always frightened me a bit. And that is the puzzle Dynamic Duos by Neverio. So I figured I would do this with my other half, my the other half of my dynamic duo. Uh, so I'm going to let Tristan explain the rules, and then we'll get started on this beast of a puzzle. I'm still wrapping my head around the rules myself. Uh, so what we have are normal Sudoku rules apply. Well, that's, that's good enough. Uh, there are eight given lines on the grid, these yellow lines. Every single line must satisfy exactly two of the following constraints. And first, I'm just going to list the constraints, and then we'll talk about them. The first constraint is an arrow constraint. And on an arrow line, a digit at one end of the line must be the sum of the digits along the rest of the line. So if this were a 9, these could be a 1 and a 3. And this would be a valid arrow fill for this line. Or they could be a between line. And on a between line, whatever the digits on the ends of the line are, all the digits on the rest of the line must be between those two outside digits. So if this was a 2 and this was an 8, these digits would have to come from 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. The next constraint is a German whispers line. And along a German whispers line, adjacent digits have to differ by at least 5. So if this were a 2, this could be a 7. That could be a 1, and so on and so forth, as long as for each pair of digits, the difference is at least 5. Now. One thing that means is that 5 can never go on a German whispers line. If you have 5 on a German whispers line, then what are you going to put next to it? A 0 or a 10? And in this puzzle, we can't have zeros or 10s. Though if you want puzzles with zeros in them, check out Zeta's mo most recent puzzles. The next constraint is called a Kreska line, which is a new one to me. But according to the rules, adjacent digits along a Kreska line must either be consecutive, so 6 and 7 would be valid, or have a ratio of 1 to 2, so 6 and 3 would be valid. Uh, and digits along a Kreska line can't repeat, unlike the other line types we've talked about so far. So basically, if you're familiar with Kropke, it's just saying that every pair of adjacent digits Kropke each other. Yes, with a white or black Kropke dot. Right. The next constraint is a lockout line, and a lockout line is sort of the opposite of a between line. Whatever the ends of the line are, the digits along the line cannot be between those numbers. And lockout lines carry the additional constraint that the end digits must be at least four apart. So it's been a while since I've done anything with a lockout line, but if that was a two and that was a seven, these could be one and eight, and that would be a valid lockout line. The next constraint type is a palindrome, which is pretty simple. Along a palindrome, if you read the digits along, it reads the same in both directions. So 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. If you read it in this direction, it's 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. If you read it in this direction, it's 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. And I actually observed something interesting about palindromes, and I think that might be a place to start, but we'll talk about it in a minute. The next constraint is Renbon. And along a Renbon line, the digits must form some consecutive cluster of digits. So if these were 3, 4, 5, and 6, it would be a valid Renbon line, but they could go in any order. That's fine. Just all the digits along a Renbon have to be consecutive, and they can't repeat. And the final constraint is a thermometer, which just means that from 
one end of the line to the other, the digits have to strictly increase. Uh, so if that was a three, five, six, seven, and nine, they increase from one end to the other, that is acceptable. So what the rules say is that each one of these lines has to satisfy exactly two of the rules we've described here. Arrow, between line, German whispers, Kreska line, lockout line, palindrome, Renbahn, and thermometer. Every line has to be exactly two of those. And furthermore, every rule gets used exactly twice. This is terrifying. Well, we already have lots of... Uh... We already have lots of deductions we can make, so we're, we're off to a good start, I feel like. Sure. Uh, one easy one getting started is, let's look at which of these lines can be palindromes. Well, this line can't be a palindrome because these digits see each other. And in fact, very few of these lines can be palindromes because they have corresponding digits that see each other. These don't see each other, but these do. And these would be the same on a palindrome. So the only lines that can be palindromes are these W pentominoes. So we can conclude that these are the two palindromes in the grid. And let's give palindromes the color light gray. Palindromes will be light gray. I'm going to have to write this down. Yeah, I have it written in front of me. Uh, so now in... Sorry, I should not talk while you're shuffling paper. Oh, no, you can totally talk while I'm shuffling papers. Oh, that's right, I can, because if the audio is separate... So one question that I think we should ask, and we're going to be asking this a lot of different times in a lot of different ways, but which other constraint can a palindrome be? Because a palindrome definitely can't be an arrow. It can't be a between line. It could be a whisper line. It could be a Kreska line. It can't be a lockout line. It can't be a Renbon. and can't be a thermometer. So actually, the palindrome can only go with two different things. It can, if I said that right, it can only be a whisper line or a Kreska line, I think. Now, the question is, can these two things be exactly the same? Can they satisfy exactly the same constraints? I don't think the rules supersede it. The rules don't say they can't, but I wonder if there's anything that means they can't. So one thing I wanted to note as well, as we uh, look at this, is that every thermometer, and I only realized this because I've thought about this before, every thermometer is automatically a between line. So the thermometers and between lines always go together. Okay. So, and just to spell that out, because a thermo increases strictly, that means that every digit along a thermo is between the first digit and the last digit. And so we're going to find two thermos that are also between lines, and nothing else is allowed to be a thermo or a between line, because those two are going to go together automatically. That's true. Short lines could very easily be thermos slash between lines. It doesn't necessarily mean that those are the thermos are between lines, but it would be easy for them to do that and kind of hard for them not to satisfy the, those constraints. That's true. So if, if the short ones are not going to be thermo slash between line, that is actually quite constraining. Well, another one that's going to be really difficult to fit in is arrows. Because a lot of these just can't be arrows. So the two gray ones can't be uh, by our observation already. It's interesting that arrows can't be thermos in this puzzle because we know thermos are between lines and we are told that lines can't satisfy additional constraints beyond the two that we assign to them. They must not satisfy any other constraints. Right. 
So an interesting note is about how many digits can be in common between the wings of our two palindromes. And namely, there can be at most one digit in common between those, and if there is a digit in common between those, it must be five. Because, because of box five. Because of box five, right. Because if there's a digit that's on both of those, then it gets placed in row five, column five, which is a five. And the reason why that particularly interests me is that if those had a five in common, they couldn't be whisper lines. They would have to both be Kreska lines. And otherwise, we don't have any digits in common between the wings of the palindromes. So wait, if they were Kreska lines and had fives on them, that seems hard to do. I guess it would have to go like six, five, four, five, six. Oh, but there's a six looking at that one. Can you? Well, can sure, I... but this one could be six, five, four, five, six, and this one could be. Wait, no, yeah, th this. Wait, no. That doesn't work. This one can't. You you can't have a five on a Kreska line and not involve. A, a, a Kreska line palindrome. Oh, could these just alternate? Could it be four, five? Well, that can't be. Is it because this, actually, because this can't be a four and a, or a six, I think that is what stops us from having a. So that would well, have to be the five. This would have to be the five. Why could we go five, four, and then take your pick of three or four? And then four, five. And that five in the middle doesn't even have to be a five. It could be a three as well. Okay, that does work. Okay, so I, I think we we are maybe not quite uh, to having figured that one out yet. Uh, so what things can a Renbon also be? A Renbon can only be an arrow if it's 3, 2, 1, I think. Is 3, 2, 1 broken in some other... Maybe there could be a 3, 2, 1 arrow Renbon. That might be possible. But the Renbon can never be the between line, because we know the between line is a thermometer. Uh, Wait. Between line isn't a thermometer. What did we say between line between was? Between line is a thermometer. Every between line in the grid is a thermometer. Oh, it is. I'm Yeah. It, it's because it's the back the reason why that sounds backwards is because the actual implication is that every thermometer is a between line, but because everything shows up exactly twice, that means that in this puzzle only, every between line is also a thermometer. So I can't repeat those anymore. So when I go to fish for Ren bonds, I have to pick Renbon out of other things. So a Renbon could be an arrow, but I think only if it's 3, 2, 1, which would have to be in the order 3, 1, 2 for purposes of not making it also a thermo. Uh, a Renbon can't be a Whispers line because a Whispers line automatically has a high and a low digit on it, and a Renbon with a high and a low digit on it automatically has a 5. Uh, Surely a Renbon can't be a lockout line, because lockout lines, by definition, have a hole in the middle of them. Yes. Uh, and as we've said, the Renbon also can't be a palindrome. So actually, the only option for a Renbon is an arrow, right? Didn't we just go... Oh, sorry, no. Renbon can be an arrow or a Kreska line. Those are the only options. Wait, actually, I don't think a Renbon can be a Kreska line without... Wait, isn't a Renbon... Ooh. Oh, a Renbon. Okay, so I can make a Renbon Kreska line, but the, the tricky thing is I have to make a Renbon Kreska line without making it also a thermo. But what you could do is you could do 243. And 243 is both a Renbon and a Kreska line. Ooh, that's. Yes. Wow. Okay, so we're, I, I think a lot of the. Uh, a lot of the logic here is going to be playing keep away to make sure that things don't accidentally get to be more constraints. Uh, so the question is, can we have 
a Ranbon that is longer than Link 3, because everything we've described so far only works with Link 3. Well, there's nothing to stop me from extending the one I just gave you. Uh, so, uh, what did we just do? We say, we said 243, you could put a 1 at the front. I think 1243 is fine. I think that is both a Kreska line and a Renbon line, and I don't think it's anything else. Okay. Okay, so let me write that down. So Renbon can only be Kreska or Arrows. And the only arrow it could be is 1, 2, 3. Kreska, it could probably be more things. There's no chance that 3, 1, 2 is something else, is there? Uh, that we could rule it out? I don't think so. Yeah, so... Uh, I, I don't think so. Yeah, so we can have a 3, 1, 2. Or two 3, 1, 2s even, I think. 3, 1, 2, yeah. The, I think both... Uh, I think both length three lines, actually, there are only two length three lines. I think both length three lines could be three, one, two. Maybe not simultaneously. Okay. Uh, okay. So we've talked about Renbon and they're quite restricted. Uh, let's see, arrows, we, we said what could also be an arrow and then we didn't write it down or I didn't write it down. Uh, I, so an I didn't arrow, write it down either. So an arrow can be a an arrow can't be a between line because between line and thermal are just out. We can't use those anymore. Uh, an arrow can be a German whispers. Oddly, I know some of this because of that one puzzle I made where you had the like sets of three digits. I think it was called triples or something. Yeah. Where you ended up having to figure out exactly almost this question of like, can something be both a whispers and a Renbon or whatever? Uh, okay, so an arrow could be a whispers. Uh, I'm assuming it can be a Kreska line, but let's let's quickly convince ourselves that we could come up with an example of that. Uh, three six two one. No, three six two one doesn't work. Maybe an arrow can't be a Kreska line. Okay, let's. I'll mark that as a maybe. I don't have an example, but I also don't have a proof that it's not possible. Can a lockout line be an arrow? Uh, no, right? Because the... No, because the middle... Oof. So can you draw out a lockout line? Just a random one? Yeah, well... And then this has to be at least six. How about nine, four, two, three? I think nine, four, two, three works. With the uh, four, four on the other end. Between... Put the four on oh. the other side. So I think that exactly works. Okay, yeah. So it is possible... Okay, we've said arrows can't be palindromes. Uh, that's right. I We do have to go back to this whole, the fact that the palindromes can only be whispers or crescas, but I, th I think it's worth writing this all out. Okay, so the arrows can only be lockout lines. Arrows can't be palindromes. Arrows can't be renbon, unless it's one, two, three, exactly. And the renbon are not allowed to be, ther sorry, and the arrows are not allowed to be thermos. Right, because between lines and thermos are stuck together. Right. So we could just sort of take between lines and thermos out of the equation. Right. Effectively, I've just basically said those are relegated to their own universe, uh, and we're not going to think about them anymore, except for when we have to think about them. Uh, so, whispers. What can a whisper be? So a whisper can be an arrow. Uh it can be a Kreska line, can it? No, I don't think a whisper can ever be a Kreska line. Because the maximum distance I could get two things apart on a Kreska line is four, between four and eight. Okay. So a whisper is never... It can never... be a palindrome. Right. Uh, I, I'm going in order. Uh, oh, I see. So 
uh, can a whisper be a lockout line? Uh, probably. Oh, but no, the, well, okay, so it had have to be an even length one. But if you went like nine seven two eight three is both a whispers and a lock outline, I believe. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. I mean I'd prefer it weren't possible, but I, I'll take an example that I can write down that shows me that it is possible that I can look at uh over it not being possible. Uh as you say, it can be a palindrome. A whispers can't be a Renbon, and again, we've taken Thermos in between lines out. Okay, so Kreska lines, we previously punted and said we weren't sure if a Kreska line could be an arrow. I'm going to re-punt and say I don't know if a Kreska line can be an arrow. Uh, we might have to think harder about that. Uh, the, problem, the problem I have is all the Kreska lines I can think of that are arrows are also Thermos. And I'm not sure if there's a way to dodge that. There might not be. Uh, so we might be able to prove that it's not possible to have a Kreska arrow. Uh, we just showed that a Kreska line can be a lockout line, right? No. Sorry. We have not shown whether a Kreska line can be a, a lockout line or not. Uh, it seems like that's going to be hard. So you'd have to do something like seven goes to, yeah, I, I don't think you can, because you'd have to go, like, you'd have to do something like seven goes to eight goes to four, but I don't think that works. So I, I think probably you cannot make a Kreska line that's also a lockout line. Uh, but maybe you can. You certainly can make a Kreska line a palindrome. Uh, you can make one a Renbon. So there's actually sort of like two pairings with Kreska that I think we're not sure about. Oh! Yes? We said five could work on these. Mm-hmm being a palindrome and a Kreska line, but then how is it not also a Renbon? Because we've repeated a digit. Oh. Okay, and then we have lockout lines, which are also part of a few mysteries. So a lockout line can be an arrow, can be a whisper. We don't know about Kreska. I was going to say it could be a lockout line, but I uh, I think my brain may have broken a little bit there. Uh, can't be a palindrome. Uh, can't be a Renbon. Uh, and then Thermo is gone. Okay, so, so we actually have a fair number of things that really want to be whispers. So palindromes are only allowed to be whispers or Kreska. Lockout lines can only be arrows or whispers or maybe Kreska. Okay. So I'm wondering if we should try and do Sudoku with our palindromes at all. Uh, so, so these are... So these two digits appear in these digits. Mm-hmm. These digits appear on this line, which is interesting. These digits appear on this line. Okay, so what can that line with a five on it be? Maybe we should ask about that. Yeah. So you showed before it could be an arrow. It could certainly be one of our thermo between lines. Uh, it's definitely not a whisper line. Could it be a Kreska line? Uh, do something sure. like five, four, six. eight, seven. 
I, I'm asking not just can it be a Kreska line? Can it be a Kreska line and something else? Oh. Uh, so yeah. if is if this it, anything else? Maybe not. Yeah. So if if it wants to be a Kreska line, it needs to also be an arrow, which I think is definitely not possible. Uh, also be a lockout line, which is certainly not possible. Also be a palindrome, which is certainly not possible. So the interestingly, only... I gave this example for an arrow, but this also is a lockout line. It is a lockout line, right? So the the lockout arrow combo. I think there are a few lockout arrow combos, at least, that work. But back to talking about whether this can be a Kreska line again for a second. So I think we're convinced that this can't be a, a Kreska line and an arrow. I think we're convinced it can't be a Kreska line and a lockout line. Uh, it certainly can't be a Kreska line and a palindrome. Uh, is there any way that this is a Kreska line and a Renbon? Yeah, annoyingly there is, because it could go five, six, three, four. Interesting. Okay. So what about this length six line? What can it be? While well, we are enumerating possibilities. This fellow? Mm-hmm. I think it wants to be a between line thermo. That's my guess. Uh okay. could certainly be one of those. Let's see. If it's a lockout line. And the two ends are exactly four apart. Yeah, if it's a lockout line, yeah. Okay, so what can our lockout lines be? Our lockout lines can also be arrows. Well, this is definitely not a lockout line that's also an arrow. Uh, could this be a lockout line that's also a whisper? Uh, I think we're too clustered for that. I, I think it's very unlikely that this is a lockout line that's also a whisper. And so then the only other combination, if we believe it can't be a lockout slash whisper, is a lockout slash Kreska. And we don't know any examples of a lockout line that's also a Kreska line. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I feel like we should be able to prove that there can't be a lockout line that's also a Kreska line. Uh, okay. So... The ends of a lockout line are at least four apart. And on a Kreska line, four is the maximum distance that you can go between two digits. So let's imagine that you start at the low end of a hypothetical lockout line. Now, if I want this to also be a Kreska line, where do I have to go for my next step? Well, I have to go down. Right? I can't go up because if I go up, I'm going to end up either at the other end if I go up four and the, they're exactly four apart, or I'm going to end up going up less than four, in which case then I am between the two ends. Right. So if I start at the lowest end, I actually then, as my next step, have to go down. And then you can't make it high enough. And then I can't make it high enough. Right. So it can't be a link three. But I'm always going to have this problem that I'm going to. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The ends of the lockout line are at least four apart, but we can never make it from one to the other without landing somewhere in the middle. Right. That's the point. Is that, yeah, we can't go. So lockout lines are not Kreskas. Kreskas are not lockout lines. Which strands lockout lines with only being able to be arrows and whispers. And palindromes only able to be whispers and Kreska. But yeah, you, you could make a length two lockout line. Uh, with a 4-8 that's also a Kreska line, but that's the only way it works because of the uh, the gap concern that we mentioned. 
Okay, so we're we're stripping things away. Oh, I I think I have something. Do tell. So, lockout lines can only be arrows and whispers. Palindromes can only be whispers and Kreska. Renbon can only be Kreska and arrows. So, if you take the trio, arrow, whisper, Kreska, and the trio, lockout, palindrome, Renbon, then... Lockouts, palindromes, and renbonds can each collectively only be in Arrows, Whispers, and Kreska. And so what that means, because there are six total lockout, palindromes, and renbonds, and six total Arrows, Whispers, and Kreska... That means that Arrows, Whispers, and Kreska can't go together. Right. So Arrows, Whispers, and Kreska are forbidden from overlapping. Yeah, right. Because because of this observation about this sort of bipartition into lockout palindrome Renbon, Arrow Whisper Kreska. Uh okay, so now yeah, so now everything is down to only being able to pair with two things. Except for our thermo between lines, which are paired with each other. And so they're down to only one thing. Uh Okay, so that's uh that's really nice. I'm going to have to put some kind of text on, on screen to explain this. Otherwise, it's not going to make for good viewing. I mean, I, I figured this was going to turn out to be a very us puzzle. And I, I think it has turned out to be a very us puzzle with the, these sorts of uh, untangling these sorts of relationships. Uh, let's see. So if hypothetically the palindromes were both whispers, let's just... Imagine the world where both palindromes were whispers. I think what that means is that then both arrows are lockouts and both Kreska are Renbon. I think as soon as we have both of a thing being one thing, they're all paired off. Right. If both the lockouts are the same, or both the palindromes are the same, or both the Renbons are the same, then it forces this giant cluster of all things to be the same. Right. So yeah, if both palindromes are whispers, then that means both lockouts are arrows. And then that means that both renbonds are Kreska. Okay, so that's that's not a huge problem. Uh, I'd really love to rule out both renbon or arrows, because the only renbon that's an arrow is exactly 312. And so, is it broken in some so, way? So, like, you'd have to have... Yeah, this would have to go exactly like that, and then the other one, you'd have one tiny piece of flexibility. It's very restrictive. It is very restrictive, but I, I, I don't see, unless I'm supposed to be, like, immediately diving into, oh, and that means the box seven line can't be anything, or something like that, I, I don't see and I don't see anything that breaks immediately based off of this that I'm able to ascertain. Uh, so, the two and four, looking at that one cell on this Kreska line, or, or sorry, on this palindrome, is certainly interesting. Uh, because if this wants to also be a Kreska line now, I have to be very careful to sort of avoid two unless I'm putting a two exactly in that one cell. Like that pair. Yeah, but you could do like one, two, four, two, one. Okay, so let's think about arrows a little more. So we've said arrows are only one of two things now. They're either Renbon, which is super restricted, or they're lockout lines, which also seems like it's going to be super restricted. So we have two examples so far of arrows that are also lockout lines. I can think of one more. Uh, but I think they're all length four. Right, I can't oh, imagine no. how you would... five, four, nine. Oh, 
Uh, no, but you can't because these C fours. Ah, okay, right. So, so I think we can prove this. There are no length three lockout arrows. Uh, in this puzzle, because the only way you could make a length three lockout arrow is if the sum of the lowest digit and a digit lower than it was equal to the higher digit. Yes. Well, the difference between the low digit and the high digit is at least four, which means the digit four or a greater digit has to be less than the lower digit. But that means the lower digit has to be at least five, which is the highest it can be. And then it would have to go five and nine with a four below it. But as you have pointed out, and I am now almost certain that we're on the intended track because there are two given fours that exactly tell us this never happens. So we can have lockout arrows, but if we have lockout arrows, they're length four or more. Uh, and there are no length five options. So uh, the lockout arrows can only be in this puzzle length four. That other line is length six, and there's no way it can possibly be an arrow. Right. Okay, so that seems that seems really useful. And there are only two length four lines in the whole grid, right? There are three length four lines in the grid. Ah, okay, yes. Yep, yep. So 5139 works for a lockout arrow. Does anything else work? Uh, 9234. Yeah. Is there any way where we could put a 9234? <laughs> uh, let's see. Ah, yeah, there's, I think there's a couple places we could put a 9234. Uh, and I'm just double checking that that doesn't accidentally become that none of these accidentally become something else. Uh, could we have a lockout arrow that doesn't have a nine on it? Uh, so could we do something like yeah, eight four one three works as well. Eight four on the outside, and then one three in the middle. Interestingly, we have yet to propose one that doesn't involve three. Okay, so let's see if we can prove that. So, yeah, we definitely need a three, because the middle two digits have to, plus the outer digit, have to sum to the other outer digit, but the difference between the two outer digits is at least four. And so... Uh, the only way we're going to get to a number that's at least four with the inner digits, uh, is with a three, right? Actually, no, I could do five, nine, and a four, one. So I, I unfortunately, no, sorry. Don't listen to me. Five, nine, four, one has a significant problem, uh, which is that five plus four plus one is not equal to nine. That is a problem. Uh, so I, I believe, actually, if you consider the options, I need the two Audi digits to add to at least four, or the Audi digits being the any digits because it's a lockout line. So I couldn't do one and two. Uh, now, if I want to throw in a four. Even if you have a one, it's too many. Right. Yeah, it's already too big. So I can't use it. So I can't use a four, so I have to use either a one, three, or a two, three. Yep. So the any digits on a lockout arrow are always two, three, or one, three. It is true. Now, that is very interesting because on a Renbon arrow, the digits just are one, two, three. So Every arrow in this puzzle, wherever we put it, is going to have to involve two of one, two, three, and a three. Yes. So that seems like uh, 
quite a bit of progress. Okay, so I, I want to think through now this giant length six line again and what it could possibly be. Uh, so it's not an arrow of any flavor. So uh, if it's a lockout, we want it to be a whisper, which seems hard. Yeah, the only way that we can possibly make this work is if those two ends are exactly four apart, uh, because there have to be four digits in there have to be four digits excluded, and so those would have to be exactly four apart. And now. Uh, I don't think we're going to find enough digits. Yeah, and I, I don't think we're going to find enough digits. Uh, oh, well, there's a two here already. That's a problem. Yeah, we'd have to have, so we'd have to have four digits outside of these digits with two not being outside of these digits. So we'd have to make one end either a one or a two. So let's just try those options. So that, that does, there's no way. So if that's a two and that's a six, that's not going to be possible. No, because you need two low digits on this line. And you and can't use. Oh, yeah. And you can't use three and four because you can't just can't use four at all in the middle of the box. Right. Well, and you can't use. I mean, this is a lockout line. So both your low digits would have to be one. Ah, uh, yeah. OK. So, yeah. So. the Yeah. So. So I think this two is stopping this from being a lockout whisper. Okay, yeah. Because I think you could do it if it wasn't there. But I don't think you can do it if it's there. Right, okay. I, I think I believe that. So this can't be a lockout line of any description. Right, so this cannot be a lockout line of any description. I agree. Uh, so if it is a Rinbon, it must be a Kreska, and that seems hard. So yeah, it's oh, not an error. it just arrow. must be. Isn't that the only option left? Uh, I think the, uh, the other option is that it's both a thermo and a between line. Right, right. Okay. So this is so, either so a Renbon Kreska or a thermo between line, and that's it. So let, let's tick this off real quick. Not an arrow. Not a whisper of any kind, because the only way it could be a whisper is if it was a lockout or a palindrome, both of which are cleanly impossible. It could be a Kreska if it's a Renbon. Uh, which is going to be interesting, and we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but it can't be a lockout line, because that would require it be an arrow or whisper, and it can't be. Uh, it's definitely not a palindrome. Uh, so Kreska Renbon, as you say, that's one possibility, and the other possibility is that it is a thermo-between line. Now, it certainly wants to be a thermo-between line. That would certainly give us the most control over the puzzle, I think. Uh Neverio, you beast. So try this. Start at the bottom. Go eight, four, five, six, three, two. That's not a that's not a Renbon. Because we didn't get a seven in there anywhere. Mm-hmm. Okay, so so how on earth do we prove that there's no way to do this? <laughs> I thought that was going to work, actually. I, I, I think now that that doesn't work, I think probably it's going to turn out that this is not possible. Uh, so. What about that? Ah, that is. OK, so there, there is a length six. Renbon Kreska. Uh, three, six, five, four, eight, seven. That's actually kind of beautiful. Uh, it is it, beautiful. Uh, I mean, I hate it that it exists. Don't get me wrong, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, I would much, much, much prefer that it didn't. Uh, but I, I think it is... Uh, and we're sure this doesn't satisfy any other constraints. It's not a between line. It doesn't yeah. look too thermo-y to me. Uh, Certainly not. 
Not a German Whispers. Not a Lock Outline. Yeah. So what are the can in, in this universe? And I think we can probably prove this is the only way you can do this. Uh, in this universe, what is row one, column nine? Okay, well, uh, it could be a one. Can't be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it could be a nine. <laughs> it would be, have to be a one or a nine. Okay. Uh, fascinating. Okay. Alas, I, I'm sorry to rain on your parade. Uh, no, no, it's okay. I, uh, I think this is, uh, I think this is interesting. And I actually kind of now I'm inclined to think that it probably is this. And we're supposed to show somehow, uh, that this thing can't be a, uh, and this couldn't be any other collection of digits in any other order, could it? I think it's unlikely. Uh, oh, here's an interesting observation. Regardless of what this is, digits don't repeat on it. Because we said it's either a Kreska Renbon or it's a Thermo Between line. So we can play the Sudoku trick of asking where these digits go in the box. And both of those digits, regardless of what kind of line this is, both of those digits have to go in that little uh, square. Which I don't know if it somehow helps us, but seems, uh, seems noteworthy. Yeah, sadly, Palindrome Whisper and Palindrome Kreska both work out so... Wait, so what, where do the palindrome ends go now in box, box three? Uh, so. I mean, they're just from these digits. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have to make some smart observation about, uh, about geometry with these palindromes, I suspect. Uh, have we looked at this length four line in the middle since we made this big observation about how these things are going to have to pair off? Uh, so I think we said it can be an arrow lockout. It certainly can't be any of the whispers combinations. Uh, could this be a... It can't be an arrow Renbon, right? Cannot be an arrow run bond. The only arrow run bond is one, two, three. Could still be a between line thermo, and it could potentially be a. Yes, so uh, can this be a Kreska run bond? And yes, yeah, so right. I think the answer is it can be, but probably it has to be five, six, three, four, or the like in order for this to be uh, a Kreska run bond. Uh, and let's see. Uh, see, the other option is five, four, three, six. Three, six. So, yeah, the, the Kreska lines are going to always have to use either three and six or four and eight in order to avoid being thermos. So, that's an interesting observation. So, okay. So wait, wait, we Oh boy, we have we <laughs> Kreska lines can't have repeat digits. So the palindromes aren't Kreska lines. Oh for God's <laughs> sake. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> In which case just go double we can check just... that I'm right, but I I'm I'm Almost positive. Uh, <laughs> you, you're true. completely right. We, we've just uh, been wasting... Uh, <laughs> let's see, how long have we been recording? Uh, Only about 70 minutes or so. Okay. I, I can't believe so, this. <laughs> <laughs> so, Do you think we should make this a patron video? 
Ah, oh god, okay. So, so okay, so we can just completely write out. So now palindromes can only be whispers. And that is going to... To force everything. Tear so, off everything. So palindromes are always whispers. So lockouts are always arrows. So lockouts are always arrows. And Renbon are always Kreska. Oh, I'm sorry, folks. Uh, this that, is that what the folks us, come us, here to see. Uh, that was us not understanding the rules for... Oh, man. This just gives folks the opportunity to yell, us, yell at us in the comments, and that's all they really want to do anyway. So we can, uh, Or you could say nice things. I won't complain if you say nice things. Okay. So, okay. Wow. Yep, so it... <laughs> wow, did that hit me, and I went, oh, crap. <laughs> okay. So. So, these are whisper lines. <laughs> these are whisper lines. Good, good. So the whisper lines in the wings have no common digits, as you will uh, perhaps recall, uh, because the only common digit that could exist in the wings was a five. That was the first thing we proved. Uh, so yep. those four digits are all different, uh, which is a right. weird thing to say about digits on a palindrome, but those are different. These are different. Okay. The And we have... Some Renbon, which Kreska. means we have to have two digits in here that are at least five apart. Can we look at that? We have to have two digits in there that are at least five apart. Ah, right, because, because these two digits both appear on this line. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so there are two digits on there that are at least five apart. So that means it's definitely not a Renbon Kreska. Uh. So it is either a lockout arrow or a thermo between line. No, it can't be. No, a thermo it's not a thermo line. between line. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful point, Tristan. Okay, so that is a lockout arrow. So let's make it blue. And now the other end of it has to be a nine. And we have our digit dance. Oh, woohoo! And now the two digits there have to add to four, so they're either two, two, or three, one. I think I know which one it is. Okay, gorgeous. So now there must be a nine in these cells. Right. And that's going to tell us exactly what's going on on the other whisper, because this whisper needs a low that's not a one or a three in row four. This needs a low that's not a one or a three, but it also can't be a four. Because if it were a four, it would need a nine. And it can't have a nine because the nine's on the other whisper and they don't have any repeats. But the nine could hide here. No, it would need a nine on both sides. If that was the four. Oh, oh, uh, oh wow. That's that's. Uh... So, yeah, there's no place I could put a four. Never mind that there's a given four that tells us it couldn't have been a four. We're doing it the fancy geometry way because we're trying to make ourselves feel good about ourselves after what just happened. So that just means this digit is a two? Means that digit's a two. This is high. Now I forget what else is this. Oh, that's right. This is a, this is a, uh, yeah, okay. And that digit's high. So it is a seven, eight, or nine. Well, we just agreed oh, sorry, it's not that was, a nine. Yes, it's not a nine because it literally looks at a nine. But other than that, uh, other than that, everything is good. Okay. Uh, now this other one can't use a two. Could this one have a four? Uh, if it wanted to have a four, the four couldn't go there because uh, that cell looks at a four. Could that cell be a four? In which case, both of those would be nines. In fact, all three of those would be nines. Uh, is that okay? 
I don't. Not, yeah, I don't. I don't see anything. Well, no, it's not okay. Oh, because no, then those would both be fours, and they would put a four there, and they're not allowed to put a four there. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, you can't have a four in in these because then the there's wings, nowhere right. for four. Right. Those are from one three nine. We don't know the order yet, but they're from one three nine. I think you could still put a four here. Right. I, I don't know about that one. I'm not making a claim about that one, but the ones on the wings are from 139. For exactly the reason we... that you just said, because they get pushed into the blue Lacatero or whatever. Uh, Man, we have just made a... a, a made a meal of ma- this? Is that the, the phrase? Okay, oh. so we, <laughs> we have to put a two... Into box one, there's only two places it can go, and I'm kind of suspecting that we're going to be able to rule it off the line. Uh. Okay. Oh, maybe if it is on the line, it almost certainly makes that line a thermo. Let's see. If it was on the line, okay, this could not be a palindrome whisper. Uh, it could not be a Locatero, I don't think. Uh, let's see, I wrote out the things about Locateros. Uh, oh yeah, Locateros are always at least four long, so it couldn't be a Locatero. Uh, and, uh, it could be, it can't be a Renbon Cresca because, well, it can't be a Renbon because there's a two on it and it would need a four and it can't have one. Uh... So, uh, ergo, uh, this can only, that two can only go there if this is a thermo, uh, but that's certainly plausible. I don't see any reason it couldn't be a thermo. Yeah. We also have a two over in column nine in box nine somewhere. I feel deeply embarrassed about it. Eh, oh, whatever. We've done it, this so far? <laughs> it happens. Oh, nine is just placed in box six. How about we do that one? I want to do that one. Oh. Doesn't that mean this can't be a Renbon Kreska now? Despite our beautiful, beautiful Renbon Kreska that we drew? Uh, Let's see. Let's try and make it work. So it'd go nine, eight, four. Uh, nope, that definitely works, I think, as best I can tell. So one thing we can say about this cell, we know this cell can't be that many things. So it's an eight if it's a Kreska, but if it's a Thermo, uh, what's the lowest it could be? Six, I think. I think six. Yeah, because of the two in the box, break knocks it up a high. So I think this is always a six, seven, or eight. And so the cell before it is always going to be either a seven if it's uh, a Kreska line. It has. Oh, sorry, no, never mind. A four sorry. if it's a Kreska line. Yeah, sorry. Uh. It is worth asking, where is the four in this box? There's only three places it could go. Uh, But anyway, yeah, it would be four if it's a Kreska line, I guess. Uh, No, wait. It's a thermo, there's a few options. Three places? I think just two places. Oh, yeah, just two places. Okay, good good point. So four in one of those two. Uh, Oh, does that mean that that thing can't be a six anymore? I think that means that it can't be a six anymore. Okay, so like two, three, five, six, seven. Oh, that can't be a two either. We can't put a two on this line anywhere. Oh, three? So that's at least a three. Well, this, no, this so could be a one, th- though. Oh, yeah, okay, so that could be a one, one followed by a three. Three, five, six, six, seven. Yeah, so that's at least a seven, actually. This seems like a reasonable place to hide this digit. It definitely seems like a very reasonable place to hide that digit. Uh, if that's a thermo, it's certainly the only place to hide that digit. 
Uh, Why couldn't it be here? Oh, yeah, it could be there, couldn't it? What are our candidates for row four? Let's go ahead and fill those in. Okay. Well, we need a four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm Mm-hmm. And the middle one is not four or six. This one's not five. So I I, want to squint at that length four line now. Uh, It's definitely not a palindrome whisper. Uh, It certainly seems like it could be a Renbon Kreska. Uh, Could this possibly be a Thermo? Barely. I think the answer is barely. Well, wait, if it's a Renbon Kreska... Oh, I guess it would go like three, six, five, four. So what can the length three ones be? Maybe maybe this is maybe we now want to ask that question. They're not palindrome whisper whispers. True. Sure. Uh, I think we proved they're not Locateros. Uh, um because they would need a four on them? Was that the reason or yeah, it would have to yeah, it would have to be four five nine. We proved four five nine was the only valid length three Lacatero, and there's a four in both of those. So So they're between line thermos or they're Renbon Kreska, right. Kreska, which is Renbon Kreska. And so what Renbon Kreska could they be? Oh, they can't be Renbon Kreska, because the Renbon Kreska of length three has a four on it. Because in order to be a Renbon Kreska without uh, without also being a Thermo, you have to use either 2, 4, 4, 8, or 3, 6. Well, you can't use un- any of the ones that involve a 4, and 3, 6 puts digits that are too far apart uh, to make a Kreska bond line. So are we saying these are only between line Thermos? I think they're, I think they're exactly between line Thermos. Uh, let's just go through that again. Um, yep. So definitely not palindrome whispers. Uh, lockout arrows. We said had to be four, five, nine. Yep. If they're length three. And Renbon Kreska. Because of the could fact, pretty much only be like two, four, three, or something. Right. It has to use one of the black dots, because if it doesn't use a black dot, it is a thermo, which is too many things for it to be. Uh, I think it'll, 243 is literally the only so thing So 243 works. is literally the only option, because and you can't use 243 because there's a 4. So, yeah, you would have to use a 36 black dot, and you obviously can't use a 36 black dot on a length 3 line. So, yeah, so those so are that- thermos. That makes these our two between line thermos. Yep. So let's make that red for temperature or something. Okay. So, so that means this thing in box three is not a thermo. It is a Kreskabun line. Uh, so. <laughs> Uh, okay. But so this is an eight, mm-hmm. which ju- it just must fill out. Like I, uh, I'm not a hundred percent convinced of that yet. Could we not do eight seven six three two? Uh, oh yeah, we definitely well, can't do that uh, for lots of reasons. It also doesn't have a five on it. Ah, yes. Okay, so the... Oh, we, yeah, we just can't get down to three, right? Three is too little to be on this line uh, with a nine, right? Three is exactly too small to be three on this line. Three is too little. And so that means I have to use eight, four, or four, and two. Then we... right? I can't have a two on this line at all, so it's not four, two. And so it has right. to be eight, four, and so the eight, four has to go there, 
Right. And then and now the rest of it is completely forced. It just has to climb back up because we need a seven on it. Yep. Perfect. Okay. So that's an eight. That's an eight. Now this digit is a, a one can't be two could be three. I could think be three. And is that it? I think that's it. I think that is it. The eight. Never mind. So I was going to say the eight is placed in the box, but do not, do not listen to the, uh, the, the man eight behind is the camera. placed in the, the box. Eight. Yes. So the eight. eight goes up here, which is, so this is a two, eight pair now. So this is a two, eight pair, right? And two or eight is not very restricted on the end of a thermo. Indeed, I agree. Uh, let's fill out the rest of box three. Looks like one, three, seven, nine. One, three, seven, nine. Okay. And you can clear out eight from row four. Okay, so have we eliminated the possibility that this length four line in box four is a Locatero or the possibility that it is a uh, Renbon? Uh, there's so no way. So it's definitely this... not a Palindrome Whispers. It's definitely there... not a between line thermo. There's no way it's an arrow. Those digits are way too big for it to be an arrow. So this does have to be a Renbon Kreska. So this is our other Renbon Kreska? This is our other Renbon Kreska. Yeah, we can put those purple on these. So we can't have an 8 on here, so we need to have a 3-6 on here. The 3 can only go here. Uh, can we have a 4-2? Because a 4-2 would also be okay if we... Uh, d no, there's no way you can have a 4-2 because then those digits are too big. If we had a 2-4, we could be 2-3... Four, five. But then, no, that doesn't work because then we'd have three digits that come from four and five. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, both the two and the three would have to go in that row. So that does not work. So, yeah, so we have to have a three, six on here, which means seven's not on here. Uh, does it yeah, work out any only... other way than this? No, because we need a three on it, and that's the only place the three can go. And then once the three is there, you need the six. And then, and then you, need you need a five a and a four. And the four can't go next to the six. So, yeah, that, that is all forced. Uh, so that is now a seven. Okay, so that tells us there's not a three in those cells on the whisper line. And it also tells us that this other thing is a Locatero. Okay. Which is blue. Blue, right. Uh, which means the middle digits come from one, two, three. From previous work. And uh, definitely the, contain a three. Definitely contain a three, and we know where the three goes. Ah, very nice. Uh, so now three is one of these. Yep. Uh, what's left in box number four? A two, a seven, and an eight. Is there any Sudoku we can do that would be helpful? So I think we know the ends of a Locatero are from uh, four, five, eight, and nine. I don't know if we can rule any of those out. Well, there's at least not a four in one of them. There is a four. Oh, four is placed in this box. Why can't four go in row eight, column three? Because it can. Uh, well, other than that. No, uh, there's a... Oh, there's no, a four in the column. Beautiful. Okay. So, yes, four is I, placed. You, I did Sudoku, and then you were like, no, your your Sudoku is wrong. But no, my Sudoku was not wrong. Your Sudoku was not wrong. I 100% give it to you. Your Sudoku was right. Uh, so that means the other end is an 8 or a 9. Uh, 
with that one or two as is appropriate. Uh, let's see. Uh, four in one of two places in box six while we're doing Sudoku on fours. One of two places in box two. One of two places in box eight. I don't know if any of that helps one bit, but what are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to go two places in column uh, six. Let's let's mark column six for candidates. Uh, let's see. We still need a one and a three. And a four and a six. Yep. Uh, and we know the one at the top is not one or three. That one's not four. That one's not six. That one's not four. That one's not three either. Uh, or this one it also isn't one. Ah, yes, it's not one. Beautiful, beautiful. Because that's a six, which places the four. And wait a sec. I, I don't think you did that right. I didn't do that right. Let's let's back all the way up. Uh, okay. Uh, we, need... we missed out a pencil mark in this column is what we did. <laughs> so we need a one, a three, a four, a five. That's yep. what we missed, right? Uh, yep. A six. I think that's, that's it. it. Okay, yeah. So that's not one, three, or five in the top. Uh, the bottom. None is of not... these are. None, none of these, of these are, are one. one. Ah, so the so one in the one... column is placed. Yes. Uh, let's see. That's not four. That's not three or four. That's not six. Okay, that looks better. Uh, one in box uh, box two is locked into a column, at least. Uh, if we want to mark that, I don't know if we do. Uh, eh. Maybe once we have it down to two places. Uh, six is in one of two places in box one and joins the three. I agree. Uh, let's see. I'm just squinting to see if there's there is Sudoku that we can do. Uh, I mean, I guess at this point it's mostly Sudoku, except we have two thermos with no bulb. But the rest of it is, I, I think, basically done. Uh, let's see. A three and a six that annoyingly are not uh one of these is a five uh so ah this one now must be the five. Oh yeah right because the five is just not pencil marked in column three at all and we are we have been through everywhere else yep so that is a five beautiful so that's not a five uh So five going on the side of that would be interesting, but not impossible, I don't think, because it could go five, seven, eight, or five, four, two. Uh, but try again. <laughs> oh, it can't go. Okay, so this, so if that's a five, it then only it would goes have five, to go seven, five eight. seven, eight. Yeah. Yeah. How on earth are we ever going to resolve which way this thermo goes? Uh, let's fill in row one, because we've got loads of stuff in row one. Yeah. Let's see. We, so need, we a need a one, one and a three. Three and a... Uh, and nine. Nine. Well, that one's not a, a nine. nine. Sorry, that one's not a three. Oh, nine is placed. Oh, yeah. Nine is placed. Beautiful. And that one's not a one either. So that one is a three. By the same logic yes. of there being so a palindrome. That's a one. One of these is a three. 
so let's fill in box uh, box two. One. Still need a one, which goes in one of these cells, but I'll just fill it in. One. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. And the one doesn't go here. The four doesn't go here. Five doesn't go five in the column doesn't go there. Here. Uh, let's do box five while we're at it. Two, four, six, eight. Amusingly enough. Which, unfortunately, unlike the previous one, I think tells us literally nothing. And I don't think we get a single elimination. Uh, yep. Very Uh Ah, where is three in column nine? Oh, darn it. It could go on the red line. Never mind. I don't know why I just was just saying, well, obviously it doesn't go on the red line. It's red. Apparently. It's in one of these? Yeah, it's in one of those. So that is not as exciting as it was in my head. I will fully uh, fess up to that. Uh So what's left in box one? That's actually a good question. Box one only has four digits left. Sure. They are a one, uh, a five, a seven, and a nine. Okay, so, so nine doesn't go in the middle of it. One and nine don't go in the middle of a thermo. And, and five doesn't fives. go there either, so that is a seven. So I think we found the right place to poke. So yeah. none of these are seven. Uh, the five is not where the column has a five in it. So that is a one or a nine, which gives us a one nine pair in the column, uh, which tells us that we get a two or an eight to finish the column. One nine pair, seven and two or eight here. Yep. I don't think it does a lot, but it's true. Uh, I hope. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so th this this thermo could work with any of 1, 5, and 9 there. Uh, but it is quite uh, particular about how it works out. Yeah, if there's a 2 here, that's a 9. If that's an 8, this could be 1 or 5. Let's see. Oh. Ooh, did wow. you find a fancy? This can't be a two. Then it would go two, seven, nine. No, ignore the thermo. Two, eight, one, eight. Oh, wow. Yeah, so uh, let's look at that before you filled it in, because yeah, the that's looking at an arrow. So yeah, if that was a if that was a two, it would place a second eight in the column. Gorgeous and good spot. That was a that was a hard one. Uh, Thank you. So that is an eight. So that's not a nine. And so that is a two. Uh, so that is a 7, 8, or 9 now, if I read that right, which is going to be helpful. Yeah, I think. Is it a 7, 8, or 9? No, sorry, I'm misreading it, I think. Oh, could it be a 1? I think it can still be a 1. I think I was, I think I, I think I confused which column there was a 1, 9 pair in. Uh, Not this one. But it's a 1, 7, 8, or 9. Okay, that's, that's... I don't think it not be nothing. anything in between. Uh, yeah, now now the thermo up in box one is just dead, because it, it can't provide us any more information. Uh, yeah, and we've got this annoying 278 triple floating around the world. Let's see. 
what can that cell be? I'm going to guess the answer is lots of things. Uh, I think it can be a 1 or a 2. Can't be a 3, 4, 5, 6. Could be a 7. Can't be an 8 and could be a 9. I was just thinking about how these interact with these, but I think it works out either way, unfortunately. That is very unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the there there is some interesting interaction of if row 7, column 3 is a 1, then that forces lots of stuff, but I don't think it forces anything that breaks. So 5 now is in one of two places in box 8, for what it's worth. I have a complicated thing. Row 8, column 9 can't be a 2. Row 8, column 9 can't be a 2. Because it would need sure. a 1 next to it, and it can't have a 1 next to it in either direction. Can't be a 1. Ah, 2, 1 would break that cell. Yep. Can we pencil mark the cells on this thermo? Uh, These? Yeah. At least okay. the ones in column 9. Because uh, column 9 ha has a 1. It doesn't have a 2 or a 3. It has a 4. What if I just pencil marked all of column 9? Okay, go ahead. Uh, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so no 3 or 5 there. Uh, no 2 either, because there's a 2 in the box. Uh, that one, I think, it can be almost anything. Uh, that can't be five or six. See, so it is three or seven. Uh, okay, so this this ended up being a little bit more restricted than I was anticipating in a couple places. The fours don't quite align. So that actually puts a huge restriction on, oh, wait, maybe not quite. Okay, so if row 9, column 8, sorry, row 8, column 9, if that's a 7, what is the cell before it? This has to be lower. This has to be 9. Yep, that has to be 9. So if that's a 7, that's a 9. If this is a 3... Uh, then, uh, could this be one? Maybe annoyingly, this could be one. Uh, if this is a three, I think this can still go in either direction. Well, that's irksome. Uh, there's a 5 in one of two places in box 6. What actually look at row 6 column 8. What can it be? It can't be 1 or 2. I think it can be 3, but it can't be 4 or 5. Let's see. Can't be 1 or 2. Could be 3. Uh can't be 4 or 5. I think it can be six or seven, but nothing else. See, this from the column is also two, four, six, or eight. It's one, three, five, seven, and nine are spoken for. And it's not four. Let's see, a two, six, or eight. That's not so bad. Uh, okay, so what? Let, let's actually write in what is row eight, column eight. Could be a one. Can't be a two. Uh, could be a three, but not a four, five, or six. Could be a seven, but not an eight, and could be a nine. 
And that's all without thinking about the thermo part, but that's actually uh, fairly restrictive. So it can't be a three, actually, because if it were a three, it would put a seven next to it and then break. So it's not a three. Uh, so it's actually only one, seven, or nine. I'm t just scanning to see if any of those digits in row seven, column nine, uh, would break this in a similar way. Uh, because I, I, uh, it seems like probably one of those must, right? Uh, maybe not. Yeah, may maybe all of the combinations work out okay. Very mysterious. Uh, let's see. Let's pencil mark row 5, column 8. It could be a 1. It's not a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5. Could, I think, be a 6 or a 7, but it's not an 8 or a 9. Is there only two places for four in this row? Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of fours floating around. Uh, but I... Th I th so row five, column seven. Let's pencil mark that one as well. Uh, it could be one. It's not two or three. It could be four. It's not five or six could be seven, but it's not eight or nine. Yeah, we're like so close to some sort of thing going on with ones, four, sixes. So oh, here's a simple point. Eight is in row, uh, row five of box four, so it's not in uh, that cell to its immediate right. So it is in one of these cells. Yep. Okay, so let, let's finish box six with pencil marking. I'm realizing this cell's actually more restricted than I thought. Because it's not one, it's not two. Uh, I think it could be three or four or five, but not six. It could be seven, but not eight or nine. wonder if there's some classic Sudoku technique that is eluding us. It is always possible in these sorts of puzzles. Uh, ah, so it, here's another deduction. Uh, row 7, column 3 can't be 8. Uh, because if it's an 8, that puts a 2 next to it, which puts a 1 on the thing, which then puts an 8 on the Locatero again. I'm looking at what happens if uh, row 9, column 3 is a 9 to the whisper. If that was a 9, then it would make the thing above it a 1, which would make this a 7, which all seems on the up and up, as far as I can tell. Ah, for the same reason, uh, row 9, column 1 can't be a 2, which is... Uh, maybe useful. If that's a two, yeah, if that's a two, it makes the thing above it a one, which makes the uh, Locatero need an eight, but it also makes that cell an eight. Uh, oh, this is so close. Uh, and seven, five, uh, I was just scanning to see if there was a Y-Wing snuck in here uh, somewhere. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, no, I was... Got it. Row 8, column 4 can't be a 1. Okay, if that's a one, oh, two, nine. But the palindrome means that there's a nine looking at it already. Yep. 
That's going to be the key. Nine, one. That's not a one. That's a one. That's a nine. So one bounces up into box one. So that makes that a five and a nine. Uh, let's see. So that's not a nine. Uh, speaking of things that aren't nine, we have row eight. Uh, so. Yeah, so it'd have to be seven, three, two, or one, three, and some bigger number. Uh, let's see. Assuredly, that gave us something else, right? You can clear seven out of row two pencil marks. Uh, oh, uh, oh, and yes. nine. And nine. How about that? Excellent. Which is going to bounce back and give us a six and a three, which is going to give us a bunch of digits in box two. So those aren't five or one, so that uh, uh so this is a four six pair now. Uh I'm trying to decide if the middle three columns are roped or not. Uh because if we if we put the same thing under the one nine, then uh they will be. So if those two digits are the same. So we, we might have to color four sixes to decide that. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but we might get away with something easier. It's so close. Oh, where's the... Oh, never mind. Uh, yes, we are... We're almost there. I, I, I believe in us. Uh... We have, what, two, four, six, seven, and eight to complete this column, I believe. That sounds correct. That's not four. That's not four. I was trying to decide if there were any things that, like, now break the thermo that didn't before. Uh... But if there are, I don't yeah, see Yeah, what if this is seven? That doesn't work anymore. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Perfect. Yep. That doesn't work anymore. Right. Because it used to be able to be nine, but now it can't. Yeah, so the if that's a seven, both things are lower than it. So that's a three. Okay. Uh, it says the thing above, things above it aren't three. Uh, which places a four in row eight. Which is going to ping pong into box uh, box five. So those aren't six anymore. Uh, by the way, there is a given six in row eight. Ah, the six gives us a five here and a three here. Ah, very nice, very nice. Can you highlight fours real quick? Do we have just an X-wing of force? No, we have a little more than an X-wing of force left. You can remove the six pencil marks from row six. Ah, now, where is three in column eight? Ah, uh, just here. Yep. Because we put a three and then never updated our pencil mark uh, in column seven. Right. So we can now update the pencil mark. Uh, what is left in column eight? One, One, six, seven, nine. Mm hmm. And that one's not a one. So, amusingly, row nine, column nine can't be a seven. Because if it's a seven, it puts a five and a six in the column as well, which then makes that thermo read two, three, one. Yep. Uh, 
So not a seven here. So not a seven there, right. Uh, okay, come on, we're almost there. Uh, what is left in row eight? One, two, seven, eight. And that's not a two, at least, from the column. I was looking back around our box four, box seven uh, mess to see if some combination of this breaks, but I I don't think so uh, that I'm able to see immediately. Uh, I keep trying things and they all work. I know it's the worst, isn't it? Uh, if row five, column seven... That's a seven. It makes the start of the thermo a seven. Oh, no, never mind. Sorry, I think that's okay. No, that does break. I think. Y- you said if this is a seven? Yeah. Let's follow it through, because I think it breaks. Seven, six, five, one. One. Seven and then two, right? Two, but now what's this? Oh, wow. How did that happen? Okay, rewind. That must mean we have a tuple in the column, right? That we have not spotted. Uh, or something. Or something like that. Because uh, we didn't use the thermo at all there. This is just a, like, our pencil marks don't let it work. Uh... Let's see, so yeah, if that's a six, then we get a seven five up there, which pushes a six there or something. I don't quite see why that's breaking. It, it, I I think I agree though. Uh, if seven, that's a seven six five one seven. Now by thermo, this has to be a two. I mean, even just by pencil marks. And by Sudoku. But yeah, uh, so yeah, and now this is broken. Because now, what what digit have we not put in the column? In that instance. Seven. Ah, yeah, okay, so yeah, so that is that, okay. Yep. Makes sense, yeah, I need to put seven in one of those three cells. Well, that's not a seven, at least. Yep, I agree. Ah, and that... This is a seven. <laughs> oh, then that, that'll just make this a seven. Yeah, I, I think that's okay. One of these is a one. Agree. There's only three places for one in box nine, I think. Sure. I'm trying to check now the interaction between the Lock Tarot and the uh, the Thermo over there and seeing like if row eight, column one, if that's a one, does that break? Uh, one... Uh, that's a good point. Actually, I think that does break. That does break. Nice. One, seven, seven two, three, two. Yep. And eight, now, yep. Two. Yep. Yep. Yep, I was just noticing it was the one seven down there on row nine, column one that made me go, wait a second, there's a re- there's something going on here. Uh, and then, yeah, so that that can't be a one. So that's a two. That's a nine. That's a seven. That's a one. That's an eight. It's a two, that's a two, a seven, that's a seven, and eight. That's an eight. That's a four. Gives us a five in row six. Five in row six. One. 
for So now these are a 2-8 pair in row uh, row 6. Uh, the 4 in column uh, 4 is going to give you a 6 and a 4. Uh, and that 6 is going to make that a 2 or an 8. Uh, not and so let's clean up those pencil marks in box eight. So that's not an eight anymore in that row. That's not a two anymore in this row. Uh, one is placed here. No, sorry, one is just not here. Woo one is not in the column because there's a one in the column already. One is placed ah, no, on that's the. Better. Yeah, one is placed on the arrow, and so that's going to make that a six or a seven. And it's not a seven anymore, so it is a six. Two, seven, six. The two is going to give us an eight over in box eight, which is going to clean up that box nicely. Seven uh, gives us a two and an eight in box five. And the six in row seven gives us that two and six. Whew. Row nine. Oh, go ahead. Uh, two, three, seven, eight, nine, five. Oh my God. That would have been a pretty pretty easy puzzle if we hadn't spent an hour not thinking about what a Cresco line was. Uh, <laughs> that definitely lengthened the solve considerably. I really liked the initial deductions there with the uh, figuring out how the things paired up. That was a, a cute little combinatorics-y uh, thingy. <sighs> Man, I have no idea what this video is going to look like when it's done. <laughs> well, it'll be uh it'll be something. It'll definitely be something. Uh let's see, is mine still recording? Hopefully, mine is still recording it looks like. Well, thank you for joining us everyone. That was every bit as exciting as I had hoped. Uh maybe more with the not understanding the rules than I would have hoped, but what are you going to do? Um but thank you all for joining us. Next time that we do a joint solve, it's going to be a puzzle from Ransk, uh to get even with me for antimatter. So I'm sure that will be a nice, approachable and easy puzzle that will not take us a long time to solve. Nice uh, and gentle. Yes, it will uh, assuredly be nice and gentle. So you can look forward to that as well as the stream. Big thank you to our patrons for helping support our content. Thanks to our patrons, I now have a I now have a stand for my camera. So hopefully this video is a little less shaky than content has been for me in general. Uh, so always looking at for ways to improve. If you have any suggestions, let us know. Uh, we have a Discord where there is a channel specifically to discuss all the Zeta math goodness that exists in the world between the math videos and the Sudoku puzzles and these videos. Uh, link in this description below uh, to the Sudoku Solvers Discord, where there are a great many uh, of us Sudoku people there that you can support and chat with and all of these sorts of things. Uh, don't forget that you can support us on Patreon if you're interested at patreon.com slash Zeta math. Link in the description. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you on the stream and in our next video. We'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye.